Congratulations to the European assassin, Canelo Alvarez, for assassinating another European fighter in Billy Joe Saunders. Canelo Alvarez's prediction came to fruition of knocking out Billy Joe in the eighth round. He broke Billy Joe Saunders' eye psyche, forcing him to quit in the corner as Saunders refused to get up off his stool in the ninth round, which was shocking to see. Knowing that Billy Joe stated in the past, he's willing to die in the ring. However, tonight, Billy Joe Saunders quit against Canelo Alvarez, even though he was up five rounds to three on the scorecards. Nevertheless, the truth is Billy Joe Saunders did not have a second gear to his game. With that being stated, from the first bell, unlike Avini Yildrum, Saunders did present a puzzle for Canelo Alvarez to solve early on. He managed to win the first round by controlling Canelo since it was a fill out round. But in the second round, Canelo picked up the pace and pressed on the gas, landing tremendous right hands that seemed to affect Billy Joe. Whenever Saunders got hit with the right hand or to the body, he was reacting to Canelo Alvarez's punches, which was a bad sign for Billy Joe because Canelo punches were driving him back whenever he landed clean. Then in the follow-up round, it was more of the same, even though the rounds were close. Billy Joe managed to have some success, but the clean, effective blows were landed by Canelo Alvarez, which also won him the fourth round. But in the fourth round, a shift was made as Saunders got into his rhythm. He started making adjustments, avoiding counters by Canelo Alvarez, winning the fourth round in the process by controlling Canelo. As the fight went on, Saunders was being more effective, utilizing all of his tools from his toolbox. He was circling Canelo Alvarez extremely well, avoiding a lot of incoming bombs by Canelo Alvarez. Billy Joe was making Canelo miss by a mile, making Canelo look silly in the process and countering him at the same time, landing sharp counters as Canelo Alvarez abandoned going to the body like he was early on in the fight. In the sixth and seventh round, as Saunders had more and more success, Canelo grew more and more frustrated. So going into the eighth round, Saunders was up five rounds to two even on the zone scorecards. Therefore, in the eighth round, as things seemed to be going downhills for Canelo Alvarez, he got himself back together by making the proper adjustments and countered Billy Joe right hook with an uppercut as Billy was dipping down to avoid the counters, catching him right on the eye socket, breaking his eye socket in the process. That sequence was more so toward the later portion of that round. So Saunders did a great job surviving the last minute of the eighth round. However, he ended up quitting on the stool. According to Saunders, he couldn't see out of his right eye, which gives me flashbacks to Dubois last fight where he had a very damaged eye in which he couldn't see out of his right eye, I believe, and he gave up in the process and the media including ex-fighters such as Frampton, trashed him for doing so, even though his eye looked way more damaged than Billy Joe. Nevertheless, credit to Canelo Alvarez for getting his prediction right. Canelo said leading up to this fight that Saunders is a six-round fighter. After six rounds, he slows down tremendously. So Canelo executed his game plan just like he predicted. And also, shout out to one of my Akis that called in to split decision, predicting that Canelo was going to make Billy Joe Saunders quit in the corner in the later rounds. With that being stated, this couldn't have went any more wrong than it just did for Billy Joe. Because leading up to this fight, he exposed Canelo Alvarez for being on steroids to this day thanks to the WBC increasing the computer roll limit so he's free to eat contaminated meat all he wants and legally be able to fight having computer roll in his system. However, it was ironic because it was Billy Joe that tested positive for steroids when he was supposed to fight Demetrius Andre. That was the day that Billy Joe told Andre, the reason why I'm gonna beat you it's not because I have more skill, speed, so on and so forth. 
The reason why I'm going to beat you is because I have more heart. I'm willing to die in the ring. I'm willing to do something you are not willing to do. Now, that one thing Sandras was willing to do was cheat by taking steroids, which concludes this bout to be the undisputed European juiced pound for pound king. And to summarize Canelo Alvarez's performance, he still looks extremely vulnerable to this day against a fighter with skill. For being down on the scorecards against a one-dimensional fighter like Billy Joe Sandras, which is exactly why Canelo Alvarez mastered the art of ducking in the sport of boxing. Any fighter that presents any type of a threat, such as a Benavidez, an Andre, a Trollo, they automatically get eliminated from potential fights, just like he did with Andre at 160. He was one fight removed from becoming undisputed at 160. Just like today, Canelo was one belt removed at 160 from becoming undisputed. However, surprisingly, he elected to give up all of his belts at 160 instead of fighting Andre in order to become the first undisputed Mexican world champion of all time, which was Canelo Alvarez's dream. But you see today in a division full of Europeans at 168, you see Canelo hunting Kayla Plant down in order to become undisputed. Now the million dollar question, where was that same energy for Andre at 160? Because Kayla Plant haven't fought anybody. Kayla Plant is only a one-time champion. On the other hand, Andre is a two-time world champion in two different divisions. But Canelo rather fights Billy Joe, who tested positive for steroids, instead of fighting an Andre who's clean. Canelo rather fight a Kayla Plant than fighting an Andre for Undisputed. This is why Canelo Alvarez is Europe pound for pound number one. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one.